Alright, so Tower Defense Simulator speedrunning is now like 30 seconds or so faster. I'm going to be trying to beat the old world record here on this map, all while trying to explain the reason why the game goes so much quicker now. This isn't exactly going to be easy. I'm going to have to be focusing on a lot of things at once because, you know, speedrunning and talking at the same time, not exactly a very great combination. But alright, so as I said earlier, 30 seconds faster like in speedruns. Not exactly 30, but pretty close to that. And the time comes seemingly out of nowhere. It's not like there's anything special that is being done to get these faster times. Because if you're looking at the gameplay here, do you even see that anything is different? Like what here is different right now? What am I doing? That could possibly be gaining me uh, like 30 or so seconds over the entire course of a run. Well, I will explain that too, and I'll also explain why old speedruns were kind of RNG dependent here. Now, there's also a theory where, you know, you get more cash every time the wave starts and all of that. And, uh, well, I'm not exactly sure about that, but I'll edit on the screen the old cash and the new cash so you get to see for yourself what the difference is, if there is even any. If we're getting more cash, well, that would kind of explain it. That is also kind of expected. Because if you're making more money, you know you can farm more, get more defenses and all of that. But if we're making less, then that makes this whole thing even more surprising. Because, you know, less money, faster times. So, alright, as I start telling you what's up, uh, I want to just give you an idea of how long 30 seconds is. Try to hold your breath for 30 seconds as I, you know, start talking about this. I'm going to put a timer up in the top right. And... Here we go. Let's see if you can hold your breath. I and mean, of course you probably can. So this time, and I'm serious about it, comes from just Roblox being Roblox. There's a wait command that is used in scripts, like, you know, waiting when counting down in a timer or spawning enemies. And this is a message from one of the devs. So the timer is pretty much inconsistent. So, you know, it actually isn't counting down five seconds when it says it's counting down five seconds. It kind of is, but it's really close to five seconds, not quite there. And this very pretty much unnoticeable thing is enough to gain a lot of time over the course of an entire run the game the entire game right now it's going faster than it would have otherwise but there is a uh, of course almost no indication also it's probably been around 30 seconds so if you held your breath good job now imagine every single game that amount of time is what you were gaining out of thin air now 30 seconds may not seem like a lot but imagine grinding for like a golden crate where you have to beat molten mode a hundred times. And then if you do that, that's already 3000 seconds. So over the course of grinding for a golden crate, you're pretty much playing for an hour more than you need to just because of some inconsistency in Roblox's functions or whatever. And now I want to see if the timer being fixed up here is literally enough to give me a world record. Because, you know, for a normal molten speedrun, I of course don't see anything changing. But what if my time is just a lot quicker now? The old world record was like 11.29, I believe. And it was like a nearly flawless run. I was never even experienced with speedrunning Molten myself. So here we go, wave 40. Let's see if I'm able to beat the record. I'm not even adequately prepared. I don't have all eight of my accelerators upgraded to max. I can't click my commander. What the heck is the hitbox of the Molten boss? Why? Well, there you go. The Molten boss died. Let's see how close I got to the old world record. Uh, I got an 1170. Wow. So I absolutely smashed that old world record. And keep in mind, that was a nearly perfect run. This one is absolutely scuffed. I had no prior experience. I didn't even farm properly or get good placements. I even had to move my DJ. So yeah, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and enjoy less grinding.